It's always a pleasure to have my friend Clint Walker on the. Where's our Clint Walker Cheyenne music? Yes. There it is for our man Clint Walker. Clint, how are you, my friend? Mark Levin. <laughs> America, how you doing, Patrick? America's Patrick Henry. Oh, you're very, very kind. You know, Patrick Henry in the end didn't vote for the Constitution. Isn't that amazing? He really? Said it gave, he said it gave too much power to this new central government. Oh, and so, and 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 that debate in Virginia was amazing because you had Madison and you had uh, Patrick Henry. The other uh, George Mason, as a delegate to the Constitutional Convention, he voted against it. Um, but, of course, George Washington was fed up with both of them, and he wanted it passed. And, you know, so that battle took place for a while. Clint Walker, how are you feeling? I'm doing just fine, Mark, and I'm amazed at how you do all that you do, and and you seem to stay in good health, and that's wonderful. Well, you know, I actually have somebody who helps me work out three times a week now. So, uh you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to be a UFC fighter. I just want to keep the heart pumping, you know? Well, there's an old saying, use it or lose it. Yeah, it's true. And uh, uh, I'll tell you, that gentleman that uh, uh, was on uh, before me... Eddie! Eddie from L.A. Oh, really? Well, I yeah. want to thank him for all the nice compliments. And uh, I should have had him for an agent. <laughs> Eddie's great. He's <laughs> by the by the way, I want to get Mr. Producer uh, Clint's website up there on our social sites. And before I go any further, Clint, what is your website? Uh, that's uh, clintwalker.com. Clintwalker.com. All right, I don't want to put you on the spot. I don't want to put you on the spot. There's several candidates running, and maybe you like several of them. Are there a couple who are running who you have your eye on? Uh, yes, uh, I've been listening to all of them, and, uh, but I'm, you know, there's quite a bit of time yet, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of hold off. You sound like me. And, and, uh, there'll be more things coming to the fore. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple of them that I hope will do certain things. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased, uh, that Mr. Carson was able. Uh, I tell you, he's very good at saying what what he wants to say, mm-hmm. and I think he did very well as far as the uh, the Muslim thing is concerned. Oh yes, uh, you know he has the right to have an opinion, and uh, the, now look look how they jumped all over him. Everybody, well, except I me. It, 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 I think that's pretty normal. They're scared to death of him. Mm-hmm. You like Cruz? He's pretty good, yeah? He's good, and uh, uh, one thing I like about Trump is I, I think he uh, he's saying what he thinks and what he feels, uh, but... Uh, you I'll, like him shaking things up, don't you? Uh, yeah. So do I. And yeah. uh, one thing we don't need is more politicians mm-hmm. uh, that uh, don't take that constitution seriously and we don't need politicians that uh, don't believe in government being of the people for the people and by the people we've had enough of that now let me ask you this can were i they, not try- yeah go ahead i'm sorry were they looking out for them and for government mhm i think it's time to get some fresh fresh faces and energetic conservatives in the leadership of the Republican Party on well, Capitol Hill. Absolutely. Yeah. Without, there's no doubt about that. And uh, I, So what, what do you make of today's events with Boehner saying he's going to step down the end of October? Well, <laughs> I, I wish it was today. <laughs> but uh, it, it, things are changing. And, uh, you know, God's for real. He's alive and well, and in his wisdom. Uh, when he feels it's time, I wouldn't be in their shoes for anything. Do you watch much TV? 
I'm just curious. Uh, not a lot. There's not a lot that we care to watch. We mm-hmm. uh, we listen to you and Russ and uh, uh, Hennedy uh, on the radio, and then we watch Hennedy and uh, we watch uh, Fox News, but a little disappointed in some of the things that seem to be happening lately with Fox News. Mm-hmm. Well, let me ask you this about TV. Do you ever watch sports on TV or not really? No, I don't. Do you, I don't. When I talk about the UFC, are you familiar with that at all, these guys in the cage fighting each other? Uh, well, I've been hearing about it. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I never had time for sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was always, uh, you know, working, and I... Now, hold on now. You used to ski. I remember that. You had that horrific accident. Oh, well, that's... Uh, no, I'm talking about competitive sports. Oh. Football, baseball, uh, basketball, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I never had... Uh, I never got to go to the games, and I never had time... To watch it on TV, and consequently, uh, uh, I just you know didn't get into the habit. I, I I watched I watch it sometimes now and then, and I think football and baseball is is uh, my favorite. Let me ask you this: I was trying to remember because you have told me. Was your daughter in in the, in the, in the armed forces? No, she wasn't. But she was a commercial airline pilot. Did I have that right? Yes, she was. For uh, she started with Western Airlines, and uh, then they merged with Delta, and then I think she wound up being. Uh, she finally made it to captain. She was with Delta for thirty-two years, and I wow. think about thirty of those years she was captain. And they have then they liked her work because every time they get a new plane. They would send her to school. I don't think they had anything that she couldn't fly. Mm-hmm. What do you make of, uh, well, let me ask you this. What do you make of, well, I did a whole list the other day. Stephanie Zimblis, Ephraim Zimblis Jr.'s daughter. Did you know uh, of, of people who, who fought in the military uh, during World War II or signed up? Did you know Ephraim Zimblis Jr., by the way? I did. He was under contract at Warner's. Uh, at the same time I was, and, uh, uh, you know, we always spoke to each other, and uh, he was a real gentleman. He was a good actor, but the thing that impressed me, he's just one heck of a nice guy. Nice, nice man. I met him. Yes, he was. Yeah, in the latter latter years. Could have been nice. What a head of hair he had. Oh, yeah, I could borrow some of that. <laughs> hey, what about you? You have a head of hair, too. Yes, I do. <laughs> still all there, and still the same color. Although I had a woman one time uh, who on the website uh, told me I should be ashamed of myself because I wasn't being honest about my hair, that either I dyed it or I was wearing a, a toupee. They used to say that about Reagan, who never dyed his hair. Well, it's amazing. Uh, it, it, that just happens to some of us. I'm not quite sure why. But uh, but he had gray in his hair because I would go over to the Oval Office. I saw his hair. He had gray in his hair. In his hair. Let me, let me ask you this question. Yeah. When you were seventeen, you went into the uh, oh what is what was it? Uh, Merchant Marine. Merchant Marines. I'm sorry. You 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 went into the Merchant Marines near the end of World War II, correct? Well, I started uh, on the river boats uh, when I was sixteen. I went on the uh, the Great Lakes. Uh, on the ore ships, uh, a couple of ships, and uh, I was able, that way I got my seamen's papers, uh, because those ships were just as big as the ocean-going ships, and uh, once you work on uh, the lakes, you could uh, change that to saltwater papers, and uh, then I went uh, to Seattle, and then I went to work for the ATS, the Army uh, Transportation Service, and they had a um, a big freighter called the David W. Branch, and uh, and so we went up the coast to uh, uh, Anchorage and picked up a bunch of stuff and and took it out to the Aleutian Islands and uh, 
uh, they, they there were still Japanese in the hills and landing barges all over the place. And uh, that was ADAC. Uh, uh, well, well let, let me just tell you this, because we're going to run out of time. First yeah. of all, I want everybody to go to your website, clintwalker.com. You have really cool stuff on there. Well, that's Clint- very kind of you. Thank yeah. you. And I'll tell you, <laughs> any time I do a show with you, our business increases considerably. Well, because you have wholesome stuff from Cheyenne and other stuff there, and you're a Westerner, and... And you're an outdoorsman, and and you're and you're, for a lot of us, we live we live through you. But I want to tell you something because I have to go soon. My father's over 90 years old. My mother's in in her 80s. They're listening, and they wanted me to tell you from them hello and how much they admire and appreciate uh, your career all these years. Well, God bless them, and uh, uh, thank them for the compliment. And I'm I'm so pleased to know that they enjoy the shows. All now, right, if there's anything I can send them, it would be my pleasure. Well, you're very kind. <laughs> okay. But I want people to go to your website, ClintWalker.com. It's very cool. There are great things you can get there as well. And I want to wish you all the best, my friend, and God bless you. Well, and and uh, I'll tell you, you you are a treasure. And uh, you, I, I, you probably will never know just what a difference you have made, and how many people you've woken up, and how many people you've educated, and the good that you've done. But yeah. You are a national treasure. Well, you're very sweet. I appreciate that very much, and God bless you. And we're going to have you back soon because I love talking to you. Best to your wife too. Love that guy, Clint Walker. Go watch the Dirty Dozen this weekend.